Jessica Goodwin thought she had tickets for her and her two young daughters to see Taylor Swift's fifth show at the Rogers Center. I paid $1,620 for the three tickets. Goodwin and a friend purchased tickets from a woman named Denise Tizer off of Facebook. She sent us a screenshot of the inside of the Rogers Center and the seating plan and had circled our section. And so it, it all seemed pretty legitimate. Never once did she let me. Leanne Batista paid over $1,700 to the same woman to buy tickets for her and her daughter to see Swift's final Toronto show. This was something that we had planned for, um, you know, bought outfits for, talked about. This, this was going to be a really special mother-daughter day. Welcome to the Ares Tour. Both Goodwin and Batista say they were shocked when they learned just days before the concerts, those tickets they bought didn't exist. I, I, know, I couldn't believe it. I never imagined anything like this. I reached out to Denise immediately upon hearing these rumors and surprisingly she did answer me back and you know without any sort of remorse or apology she's like yep the tickets aren't coming and I'm not I, I can't give you your money back. The worst part was having to break the news to their daughters. I was in tears telling her I'm so sorry I have to tell you that the tickets that we got are not real we won't be going. They were really sad. I mean, uh, my daughter, my eight-year-old, it was like her dream for three years to go see Taylor Swift. And yeah, she was like walking on a cloud for three days. And then she was really upset. To make matters worse, Goodwin lives on the Magdalene Islands just off the coast of Nova Scotia. She spent thousands more on airfare and accommodations to come to Toronto with her entire family. It was all non-refundable. All in all, we were probably like six or seven thousand dollars in this in this scam of hers. They decided to try and make the best of a bad situation and just go on the trip, even though they wouldn't be able to see the show. So we went to the, the tailgate party the afternoon that we were supposed to be getting ready for the concert. And uh, my girls did have a lot of fun. I mean, it they enjoyed it and they got in to the, the Swifty spirit, I guess you could say. And I mean, the streets were filled with Swifties and the, it was a reminder and it was a constant reminder of this is what's going on and we can't attend basically. So, I mean, yes, we made the best of it, but it was always, it never compared to what should have been, I guess. Turns out these women were just a small part of the scam. According to police, there were at least 28 people who were allegedly victimized by Tizer, who police say um, used the, the alias Denise Blackhawk case, on Facebook. You know, they came forward with, hey, I've been scammed out of money because it was a lot of money um, under each individual. It was up to in and around $70,000 that this woman scammed out of the 28 victims. Tizer is now facing multiple charges, including 32 counts of fraud under $5,000 and one count of fraud over $5,000. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto.